This is the Recycling Scrap Metal Commodities and Economic Report, May 28th, 2024. U.S. weekly raw steel production rose slightly at 1.73 million tons, down 1.5% from last year, and down 2.8% year-to-date on slow U.S. manufacturing, partly due to higher interest rates. WTI crude oil price fell to 77.80 a barrel, but still high. OPEC and U.S. oil companies remain holding production steady to maximize profits. U.S. weekly crude oil production was steady at 13.1 million barrels per day, remaining slightly off the recent record high in American history. The public wants drill baby drill to get lower oil and gas prices. The problem is the oil companies will simply not do it because increased supply lowers prices and hurts their profits and hurts their Wall Street stock prices. The U.S. weekly oil rig count was steady at, as companies remain disciplined to keeping the count steady to maximize those prices. Scrap steel number one HMS price settled at 315 a gross ton with downward price pressure for June on slow U.S. manufacturing. Hot roll coil steel price rose slightly to 38.17 per hundred weight, which is 764 a ton on the continued slow manufacturing we talked about. Copper price also fell to $4.76 a pound after hitting a record high during the week. This was on poor near-term demand as China consumes about 50% of global copper. And this was also despite the Chinese government stimulus. Aluminum price rose to $1.21 a pound, which is $26.62 a metric ton, the highest in two years on supply concerns caused by bad weather and on the continued Russian sanctions. U.S. U of M May Consumer Sentiment Survey was revised higher to 69.1, but it's still low. Current conditions and expectations were revised up. Also, people are concerned about the high interest rates and future higher unemployment. U.S. April durable goods orders increased 0.7% from March, the third monthly increase. This was on strong transportation orders, as well as computers and electronics were also solid. U.S. April home building permits fell to 1.44 million annualized, the rate of the 1960s, as higher interest rates are hurting demand. U.S. May Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index rose to 50.9, a modest improvement. Output and employment improved, but costs increase. They're optimistic, though, about the, the year ahead. U.S. May Composite Total Economy Purchasing Manager Index surged to 54.4, the highest level in two plus years. This is good news and bad news. The good economy means people have more money. More money increases purchases, which brings inflation, which means higher interest rates to slow the economy. A recent survey had some strange data worth talking about. Yes, prices are high, but 49% thought Wall Street S&P 500 was down year to date. Note that the S&P is a broad index of 500 stocks, much more diverse than the Dow 30. The fact is, it's up a huge 12% year to date just this year. 49% also thought that unemployment is at a 50 year high. The fact is, it's near a 50 year low. And 72% believe inflation is increasing the fact is, it's down to 3.4% from 9.1% about two years ago. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 934 points to 3970, remaining near the record high with near record 401ks. High prices, though, have consumers mad despite the record number of people working. The U.S. economy is at about 3% growth, which is above the 20-year average, but 56% of people think we're in a recession, as in negative growth. Roll-off truck parts, roll-off trailer parts for sale at Bentley, Galbraith, Galfab, American Dragon, and more. New lower-cost UPS shipping rates. All items ship same day, so next day delivery is available. This report by Greg Brown is brought to you by Bentley Roll-off Trailers, Gondola Trailers, Crush Car Trailers, and Lugger Trucks. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.